Get the roar! Get the roar! Get the roar! Get the roar! Greetings, and welcome to That Works! It works! A DreamWorks podcast starring a happily unemployed photographer barely getting by with DoorDash, a disgruntled ex-journalist now writing Scott Pilgrim fan fiction, <laughs> and a spineless, asthmatic, 26-year-old curmudgeon sweeping movie theaters for a living. And today, we have the, the third sequel... Of the biggest franchise DreamWorks has ever had. Would you call that a fourth movie? Yes, fourth movie, third sequel. So it's a trilogy of sequels. Yes. It's a sequel of trilogies. Oh, what? No. Oh, wait, well, Sorry, no. That, uh, continue. Sorry. Shrek 4, everyone. <laughs> Shrek 4, 4 ever after. I don't know why they didn't just make it 4 ever after. Like, put the number in they, there. They, I mean, like, escape to, to Africa. Yes. We, no, we're not going down that rabbit hole. <laughs> What rabbit hole? It's just a continent. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> Anywho, Shrek! So, Shrek Four. Forever After was the fourth and final of the main Shrek movies. There is the spin-off movie, Puss in Boots, which came out the next year. I think and it was there the next may year. may or may not be a I wrote Shrek it down in here. Yep, sometime. there it is. But so, basically, up, and, up to this point in time, this is the final main Shrek installment. There's a fifth one on the way Woo-hoo! as of this date. So... So after after the third one was lackluster, eh, just just a touch was pretty bad. Yeah, we got another sequel that wraps up the story for now, and I and it's about I think it's about time we dive in. It came out in May of 2010, so it's been over a decade now. We're wow. going to see how this has held up over the last decade, if was, it has held up to begin that with. It was ten years ago. That's yeah, wild. Eleven years ago now. Eleven. Yeah. Yep. And again, I, spoilers. Oh, this obviously. is 10, 11 years old. If you don't know what happens, then I'm pretty surprised this is, again, their biggest franchise. But again, I want to preserve the magic of these movies. The magic me. of Shrek. There's a lot of magic to that man. He's an ogre. Yeah. Arr. He's an ogre, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm running out. He's been up since like 4 a.m. I'm going to give a... I'm sorry. How does that make him different than what he normally is? No, no, no. Hear me out. It is. is Hear me out. I fell asleep at 2 a.m. last night. I had to get up to work my shift at 4 a.m. today. I've had 400 milligrams of caffeine. I am ready to go. And I just broke my microphone Mm -hmm. with that one, I'm sure. I'm going to go ahead and turn Dickie down, everyone. (laughs) What, you don't like seeing the Himalayas on your screen there? I just don't like hearing it when I have to edit it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it might have hurt your ears a little bit. Wake kind of up, kids. We're going. Pull Shrek, Dickie down Shrek here. Shrek forever after. Fire here away. we go. Fire away, kid. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> Fire away. In his fourth outing, Shrek has everything he wants. A wife, a family, a swamp, his own happily ever after. That sounds perfect. But as the stress of parenthood weighs on him, Shrek blows a gasket at his triplet's birthday party. He did the roar. Angry and fed up, Shrek comes upon Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Yeet. A magical con man who dreams of power and revenge against Shrek because saving Fiona stopped her parents from signing a contract that would have gifted Rumpel far, far away. Tricking the ogre, Rumpel launches Shrek into an alternate timeline where he was never born, putting the little magical man at the top. Shrek must now race against time to reunite with Fiona and convince her that he is her true love. But alas! She's never met him. She's never met him. Guys, I just realized this. He's the original evil lawyer. Because it's like all about signing contracts and stuff like that. Like, like, this is what started it. I mean, that's obviously... I mean, that's always been Rumpelstiltskin's thing. Yeah. I never realized that until just now. Really? I seriously. I mean, there was like a whole show that went like eight seasons in like the 2010s. I... Knew of the show. I never watched the show, so that's it's, it's, kind of on me. It's a fair bit of cheese, but it's wonderful. Yeah, I, I wonder as to how much they base this off of like the g- generic like Rumpelstiltskin character. Probably a lot, right? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's interesting though. Continue, Jared. 
Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's the synopsis. That was the synopsis. That's that's it's oh, a, who, who wants to lead this one off? I'm, Mr. Running on Fumes? Or Mr. Let's... Blow his voice out on the yell. I guess I guess we got our Let's go. Our All right. Now I I, it up. I'll pick it up after. I actually like this movie. I did not expect to like this because I remember it was coming out in theaters. Me too. I 2010. I would have been Remember the time the, the timeline. <laughs> remember the tagline. It, it, it it's not ogre to it's, it's not ogre, ogre to it's ogre. <laughs> they 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 did the first Shrek wordplay, and that's what like that's what launched everybody else's Shrek wordplay. Sixteen year old me went. I was like, oh no, why do a fourth one? And now, like, remember, like, this is exactly what this makes me feel like. Remember when you were really embarrassed as teenagers, or like of looking, myself? Yeah, that's what I'm like. like looking back. <laughs> <laughs> like looking back at teenagers and realizing that how you were embarrassed about like how much you liked stuff like you didn't want like everybody to know that you liked like I don't know for example I Shark Tale Shark Tale <laughs> or I really enjoyed like um, Shania Twain when I was a kid and I shouldn't have been embarrassed but I was but now I can flaunt it because why not and I'm flaunting how much I loved Shrek Forever After because it's one of those things that I'm just like Oh, I was embarrassed. I didn't want to like it. I didn't want to like it. I thought it was weird. No, this is cool. Hey, man. That don't impress me much. Mm-mm-mm. But you know what? Is she related to Mark Twain? I don't know, but... No, but she's Canadian. And I feel like a woman. Ah, 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 hey, ah, ah. he said it. He said it. Let's go, girls. We didn't say it to him. He bah, said it. Bah, bah, bah. But yes, I love Shrek 4. How did you, you, you love? You know, I thought it was just like you love it. I, 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 my, I, I, I think I really. I think this got turned up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like it's one of those things that just the more you think about it, the more you really enjoy it. And I know it obviously actually, does. Ladies and gentlemen, Dickie made a good point. Keep, keep going. Good I take. Said, good, yeah, take. Yay, good take. Good take. I had a good take for once. I'll keep Ladies going. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Dickie's first good take. Boy, this is 20 movies and I've had at least more than Dumbledore one good play. take. No, 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 no. You've had a couple of hot takes. This was hot That takes. was good. You're right. You want to segue into me now? Sure. That? that was I was going to say because it really is the more you watch it or the more you like think about it, it's much better than you you initially you think. Expected I to wouldn't be. call this one of their better movies. I I'd call it a good movie. I'd call it right in the middle somewhere. A lot of these are pretty middling. This one is one where the first time I watched it, which was like a year or two ago, like I did not see this. You didn't because, see this in theaters. Oh, because the third one just disappointed me so much. I was like, I, I just not feeling it. It was 10 years before I watched this. And when I finally watched it, I was like, because, you know, other YouTubers have been looking at it saying like, hey, this is better than you remember. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching, I'm going, okay, I'm finally seeing the end of this story. And... And it ended and I go, that was a nice little movie. It was fine. It, exactly. Yeah. It, it yeah. did its job and then just a smidge more. It like, yeah. it like, it, it brought, it It still gave, because what I liked about it, and I, I actually, no, I don't want to keep going because we, I want to get your opinion first, but then we can. How about I finish mine too? Wow. I'm just cutting everybody <laughs> off. I'm so sorry. Please go ahead. Go ahead. I was ahead. just going to say, when I watched it the second time, because the first time I was like, that's fine. This time there were parts of it where I was like, I, I like that. It's, different it's kind of it's subverting its own its own uh, cliches like the, the shrek cliche it's starting it there's still it's still a shrek movie it still feels like one but it it did things a little differently it brought the scope down because i think the third the shrek the third mm-hmm. widened it which is what you're supposed to do for sequels each the second third ones do that of course i feel like by making it a more focused story because it's the ending so far mm-hmm. i think that's what makes it stronger because it's a, it's much simpler. It's like, hey, let's do something. Because the the plot is basically an it's a wonderful life type thing. It is. No, it's one. What if you were never born? Which give Rumpelstiltskin some credit, having him sign it, taking away any day. How about a day when you were a baby? Oh, sure. And of course, what day does he take away? The day he was born. I thought that was it was clever. Good. It, it really was clever. Like I, I thought they were gonna trick him into the contract in some other way. Like obviously, there's shenanigans going on. It's Rumpel. But, like, I didn't expect him to, like, just completely unborn him. Like, really? Oh, I was going to... That was a really weird sentence to hear. That really was. To unborn someone. Un- oh. See, you say unborn, and all I think is Jason Bourne. <laughs> oh, my God, that's Jason Bourne. Jason, it's Jason unborn. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God, it's Jason unborn. <laughs> anyway, 
Jason, no, Jake. Give me your take. Jake and unborn. <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jake. Give me your take. Give me your Jake take. Can I can I use the soundboard real quick? No. Please. <laughs> no, please. No. I just I have no. I just no. have one super relevant thing right now. No. You can throw a ball at me if you want. Yeah, just throw Yeet. Oh, I gotta go go for my head. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our I audio better, listeners I better at throwing that toilet paper. Our <laughs> audio listeners, he Jake has, is sitting four feet away from Dicky and just has to throw straight and he completely missed. That last one was straight, it was just high. <laughs> oh whoop. Well, you're left handed. What hand did you throw with, Jake? My left hand. Ah. <laughs> you tried giving them sympathy, it didn't go. Segway, Jake. This is your first time watching, right? Yeah. What did you think? What's because you, you having your hatred for the first one and appreciation for the second one and then hatred, hatred for the third one. I wouldn't call hatred for the third Disappointment. one. Disappointment. Dismay. Just, just nothing. Just Like I said, that episode was like a funeral dirge. It's like a... <sighs> yep. You really do have a lot of energy right now. I... Ver- yeah. You're rubbing on your gums a little bit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what did you think, Jake? I... I agree with what you both said. I just, it wasn't my thing. Um, okay. The whole, I don't know how to describe it. It's not Dungeons and Dragons because it's not right. And I know that that's what I said earlier. It, it straight up is a it, fantasy. But but, but it, but it, not, it has the vibes. But not in the same way that the other two were. It's like a different, like, Three, yeah, it's. Two. It, it, oh, you don't count the third. Two, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that, that's like, a thing that I just don't know what it is. What now? What's the difference? I'm, I'm asking. What the difference in the two types of these? Fairy I don't tale know. Fantasies? I just I didn't dig the. You want to know what it might be? I I just didn't dig the oh we're leading an ogre war. What what was wrong with that? I like that. I, I just didn't. I just didn't. Nothing was wrong with it. I just didn't. But dig it, it. But it makes sense because the only person who can reverse Rumple being in power is Shrek. So, of course, he'd enslave all the ogres to make sure Shrek I guess doesn't, he, doesn't pull I this guess, off. I guess Do you want to know what I think it is? And I might be entirely wrong. It's the music. The music for the first two really gave it a happy and an energetic vibe. And I'm pretty sure there were very little pop songs in this fourth one, right? I can't think of any off the top of my head. I think it was mostly a score. I just oh, think they didn't a, give it the same vibe. I, was I it a Carpenter th- song during the montage when he's scaring the villagers? It was something like that. Oh, there was a song. That, that's what I remember, but I can't remember other ones right now off See, the top of my head. It's, been a, it's been a little I, bit. Am I, I correct? It. What I, am, I, am I correct? I mean, that, I I, that's probably part of it. I don't really remember. Um, to something be is off, though. I think, and like I've always said, the best part of the movie is the relationships that you're invested in. And they kind of tore them apart, and I was just like, "Okay, I mean that's fine." I just in oh. the third one or this one, because they're in this one together quite a for a good amount. But, but it's not. They they changed their relationship. Yeah, they one hundred percent. Like it, I don't know. It's it it just didn't it didn't grab me. I mean, it's not a bad movie. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna, I'm not gonna yeah. say it's a bad movie, but it just didn't. Hardly hook you. anyone ever talks about it. I mean, that's very true. I, I think mean, that's because of the third one being so disappointing. Well, I think and, it's and like maybe that recovered. and maybe that's it because I only watched it a couple of days after I watched the third one. And, and you just so, had like such a sour taste or after like the third one. I it's kind of hard. How, how far apart are they? Like, so this came out in 2010. Four years. Three years. Three four years. years so how many years, movies were years. between that? Three years. Shrek. Three. Yeah, there, yeah, there would have been three years worth of movies between them. One, two, three, so four, five, six, six. So I probably yeah. watched it a week or so after. Mm-hmm. Maybe that was just it. I don't know. Maybe I was just maybe I'm just over the Shrek storyline. Like I it just didn't hook you anymore. It just didn't. I mean, totally- it, again, it's not a bad movie. It's wonderfully animated. It's very colorful. I like Rumble. Rumble's funny. Rumble is funny. <laughs> and I really just <laughs> one's an idiot except for me or whatever. Something like that. Whatever the one, his little like self cheers were killing me, and I think it's it's Walt Dorn, who's one of like the creative heads of the animation department at DreamWorks, has directed some subsequent movies. It's really yeah, like he he's not a voice actor primarily, and I think he he was so good. A, a classic example of huh. he's so good at it. It's like we're not gonna get someone. You're just gonna do it. That's interesting. He I is, did not know that. He's really funny. 
But yeah, I laughed a lot at he was, no, I, I, I think he worked really well as an antagonist because he he took what the best part of like kind of what you were saying. The best part of the first two movies was Shrek and Fiona's relationship, mm. and he took that and he split it up. Like that's the main crux it's, of why we love, especially Shrek. this movie. That's like the well, I, and like exactly, they, and the, like, exactly. they kind of broke up Shrek and Donkey too, and that's another one that in the third movie you're saying right, or the, in the this, fourth movie. They're in it together quite a bit. He's They're in it together, but it's not the same relationship. It's not the same, like, happy-go-lucky kind of vibe. Which is kind of... Because, de- like, Donkey's, like, afraid of him for the first... Well, yeah. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. I, I don't enough, know, it just... Actually, but he only runs away for, like, a minute. Because remember Shrek sits down and he actually cries. It's actually quite a... Like, that's a good scene. Mm-hmm. I don't And then re- he's, there, don't he's there again. I don't that's remember true. it. Maybe I just watched it too long ago. I don't remember That's interesting, it though, because, like... Now that you said that, because they, you're right, they broke up Shrek and Fiona, they broke up uh, Shrek and Donkey. And then for and whatever reason, Puss was fat. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, I forgot, Puss was fat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was I don't kinda... remember, they had a reason for it. I think he just lost himself in the milk. Something like that. Sometimes you just lose you yourself just... in the milk, like you just gotta go for that creamy goodness. But I, I honestly think I'm experiencing a bit of the um, franchise fatigue. Like, we're at yeah. four movies I mean, here. to say four... If you're not pulling out, like, really fresh, really interesting stuff, and it, it's hard to keep doing four movies. I mean, look at Fast and the Furious. Like, seriously. That, that's to, a really good, like, but, thing to look at. But they went to space. <laughs> I mean, that's what maybe Shrek 5, they take Shrek, they take Shrek to space. Oh, good. Send they, Shrek to the moon. Send Sh- we'll call it the Shroom. Dicky, no it's, shrooms on this show. But it, it, it's Shrekooms. It's like Shrek Maroons. I need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. Like, there's so many opportunities. If they sent him to the moon. Oh, my God. Get get Shrek in the space race right now. Like he, Space race? Yeah. Like, you know, like the billionaires, like Bezos is going to space and that other billionaire just went to space. Oh, yeah. The Virgin Mobile, dude. Yeah. It's July when we recorded this. By, song. by the way, yeah, it's July 2021, which is they're just they're, they're launching off. They're they're they're, they're racing to the space. Wee! Wee! Yeah. Sheesh! Had to. They're literally what they're doing. Literally, or they're sheeshing it up there. <laughs> I was just going to say it's an interesting way to connect this because when they mentioned the moon in the first movie, you know, like what about that big one? That's the moon. <gasps> now you got there you go. Jared, Jared, you did it! Jared, you did it! That's what they're you gonna do! You are never allowed to drink Bang again. I should. <laughs> Imagine this kind of energy on every show. <laughs> oh my god. The point being, this comes into another point of mine, which is like, I I never, like, in this movie, the whole thing is, I miss the good old days. And we, we had had this conversation months ago. It's like he misses the good old days of chasing people around, but then that whole conversation in the first movie, like, the actual first, like, depth to Shrek in that first movie is as much as as much as you might think one thing about him, he deep down does not like being outcasted like that because people judge him first. Mm-hmm. So you have that nice scene, and now this one's like, well, I miss those good old days, and I can understand because you know he's a father and it's stressful, mm-hmm. but it just it feels weird to say the good old days of me scaring people like it's like I I I kind of get it, well, but we- also it just feel I. That's a lot to give up just for one day of that. Yeah. Uh, I can I, understand the contract thing, but then like that part, of, I don't know. That's just me. I, I don't think. No, it's, I maybe. don't. Like in my mind, the way that it works is like, I mean, I, I'm kind of relating this to myself and just looking back at college, like back in like the my, like heyday when I was just going ham on the weekends and stuff like that. Like you look back and it's just like, man, I kind of wish I could go back and do that. But you don't remember Back when you were going ham in college on the weekends, that hurt. <laughs> I don't know. I'll never forget when I woke up in my boxers at the base of the water tower and <laughs> see in, it, the, in the snow, in the snow. Yeah, and and, and I just was, doesn't part was, of you that was no. <laughs> <laughs> and you walked all the way back barefoot. To in be the fair, snow. it's not that far from the water tower to where I live. I mean, fair enough, but it's still. But it, to be fair, walking barefoot in the snow is not fun. Um, yeah. True. It's about as fun as doing the roar and scaring a bunch of little children. Like you kind of scared. Maybe, maybe that's my thing with cheer. it is I they just did cheer, that's true. 
maybe that's my thing with it is I just don't relate to it that much. Like, yeah, I get that feeling of like, oh, yeah, I miss when I didn't have any responsibilities and I could just, you know, do graphic design and do videos all I wanted all day long. But Mm -hmm. like. It's a lot to give up. Yeah. And especially I think this is what people have pointed to. That line when Fiona's like, so he's like, I wish, I kind of wish I could go back. And she's like, oh, oh. before you rescue me? Exactly. Dude, and I remember thinking that like. That line hurts. But not in like a, oh, I know you're going to be redeemed. More of like a, I know you're going to be redeemed, but that's but, really, like, really hard to recover that, from. That's like, really hard to feel when, for you there. When he said that, I'm just like, oh, buddy, you can't like, oh, no. I just, you feel so bad. And that's where that's that's what I think the the strength of this is. You just feel so bad for him that yeah. he said that in the entire movie. After he said that, he was just trying to like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. And it's just him trying to work back towards. Obviously, the whole point of the movie is making Fiona fall back in love with him. And I think that was just a really really interesting thing to do when you're comparing it to the first movie. Yeah, when he's not trying to make her fall in love with him, but it just happens, and now he has to actually act upon that and it's to see how he does that and it's not easy that it's, thing i don't like it's a love mm-hmm. at first sight thing it's the way he has to work for it and the way he works for it is no because, going for what she is interested in yeah because it makes sense that if she didn't stay in the tower and she chose to be an ogre all time like she's a completely different person that's exactly what it is but like again not saying it's a bad movie just saying like like what we were talking about at the party where he yells at her like I, I'm I'm sitting here watching that and like God, he's being so childish. It's annoying me. That maybe that was my hang up with it. I don't know. I mean, I can see where you're being. Be could be annoyed with that. I was annoyed with Shrek because of that. It's just because of the first three movies and the first two that I know in the back of my head that he is a good person. When I see him saying and doing these very cringeworthy and like secondhand embarrassing things. It makes me feel for him and really want to see him try to redeem himself. I did not have such a drive to see him redeemed because I am not as attached to the franchise as you are. That makes 100%. Um, but yeah, it just I, makes sense. I honestly think that it's just, in my head, it's the fourth movie and it's not a franchise like like How to Train Your Dragon 3. Like, I'm super excited about that. Well, how does this end? Mm-hmm. Like, just, and, and I'm really in love with the, like, what happens to Hiccup, blah, blah, blah. I, in Shrek... I don't hate Shrek the way that I used to, but... Thank you for coming around. I really appreciate it. But I will I, do my darndest to get you to come around. But I'm... Me. Oh, no, it wasn't you. Um, <laughs> don't You don't get to take that. Oh. <laughs> oh. I did not get shrek by Dickie. But I want to Shrek you. No, you want to Shrek Jer. Oh, I could Shrek both of you. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> Mouth feel dirty after that one. (laughs) (laughs) I threw up in my mouth and then I puke, puked. What were we talking about? (laughs) Anyway, I I just I don't have the love for the characters. So when they were torn apart, I was like, okay, well I see what you're doing. You you kind of saw like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean like like Jared said, it's a wonderful life. Yeah, no, and, it's and, it's one hundred percent. And it made no bones about hiding that. Which I, I kind of enjoyed that it yeah. didn't yeah. because I think I mean obviously it's the it's a wonderful life tropes. It, like yeah. those are really I, oh, no, fun I'm, to see it happen. I'm not saying again, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying it didn't tickle me. It didn't tickle your fancy. <laughs> no, it just didn't tickle me. It didn't tickle just a little just a little it's a Not me. like I tickled Jared in the library today. Hey. hey. Oh. We're for those out of kind. For those who want to know, Jared and I were looking at books in the library today, That's what and it I does. just I just reached over and like rubbed his belly a little bit. Sometimes oh. It, it, oh. It, it's, it's kind of like a magic lamp. If you if you uh, mm, he was checking. It did get I it. Finish that phrase. It, it did. <laughs> He didn't go, <laughs> No, I didn't. He did buy me movies, though. Oh, yeah, you owe me four bucks. I know. I know, buddy. I know. 
And I promise not to tickle your belly ever again. Thank you. I'm not making that li- promise. That felt a little weird. <laughs> Track forever after. <laughs> rated PG. Okay. There, there <laughs> it is. You got it in. You got your rating. So here's my question. When Fire I, remember, away. Remember when I was saying Trek the Third advertised the babies a lot? Was I mistaken and it was actually this one? I don't know. I feel like that third one was the big one. It's like, hey, they met. They got I, married in the first one. And then they met the parents in the second one. Now they're going to have babies. But of course, again, it's right at the end of the movie. And then this one, they're not in it that much. I'm trying to remember now. Now you got me questioning everything as to where that where that baby's push was originally from. It had to be the third movie, right? Because that's like the first the time they introduced the, the ogre babies. Yeah, I feel like it was the third movie. Could, could we call them... Movie. Because this would have been pushed for the alternate timeline thing. That's how they push the story. Yeah. Guys, can we call the uh, baby ogres bogers? Bogers? They bogers. have names. Bogers. They say their names. I don't remember. Do you, I was going to say, do you remember the names? Okay. Fergus <laughs> is one of them. Oh, I forgot the other. Sorry, I sorry. Say, I got nothing. Fergus. I definitely Fergus. don't remember it's the name. Fergus, not Fergus. Isn't one like Farkle or something, or is that a candy bar? No, Farkle is a game. That's a game. What's the candy bar? Sparkle? No. Whatever. Okay, Farkle's the game. So Fergus. Snickers. No. What? <laughs> Twix. <laughs> Try to think of the kids. I don't know what the kids name. <laughs> See? See? We obviously weren't that attached okay. to the kids. Okay, Google time. Names. Google, what was the Shrek babies? Maybe don't actually Google search that. That might show up some weird, weird images. But other than the babies, everything else was good enough. Do we have any more? No, we're waiting on him to get these babies. Or we- <laughs> were, there, were there three or four? There were only three, three. right? There was no it's, way there were four babies. It is Farkle, Fergus, and Felicia. I was so I got two of them right. Wow, yeah. Fark- you and Fergus. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't get Felicia right because that's <laughs> Fergus, of- Fergus and Farkle, but I didn't get Felicia. That is that is incredibly likely impressive. the most normal name in that group. <laughs> Although mean, to be fair, I don't know many families that you know that have four kids that you could name all their children. Yeah, I can't. That imagine. weren't your own family. I could not imagine. We I mean, probably do it, but I, beside the point. I'm assuming they also named all of them with Fs because of Fiona. Is that is that fair to assume? I guess. <laughs> so we got Fiona, Fergus, Farkle, oh, and Felicia. And Shrek. And, the Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> and then Donkey. Well, Donkey's like not an actual... He's, he's a family member. Oh, well, he's a family member, but he's like a fun uncle. He's, he's, a, he's a funkle. He's a funkle! See? It brings in the F! It's all it's all it all brings all the F's in. No, funkle, those are the little plastic figures. Those, right? are, Funko. those are Funkos. No, it's it's, it's so a Funko, anyway, not a Funko. Shrek 4. It's a pretty good movie. It's really well Shrek animated. Four. Guys. They're doing us with these F's. I didn't know what you were doing. We're doing the X-Files thing. I've never watched the X-Files. I think it was going to be like, how do you not know the X-Files? I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know what you were doing. Especially you. You sing in the same key of terrible. I'm sorry. I'm a vocalist. Oh, ah. I just thought you were starting to lose your mind, so I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll give it a little <laughs> I mean, I was, and that just sent me. If my mind was 50% gone, that pushed the other 80. Like, <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Let's check Nikki's math. <laughs> that checks out, right? 50 plus 80? I'm going to throw something at you, but I need <laughs> ah, <everything>. yes. ah, <laughs> The balls. No. There, you can have that one back. What? Neat. Disgrace. <laughs> Now look what you done. I could done. probably reach that one if I actually wanted. Eh, leave it. You just don't want to get it thrown at you again. I'd rather not have it thrown. Oh, I'm done. I tried, thrown at you? I tried bringing the another F in. 
And I just failed. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Ha! Uh, failed. So. See? Ha! <laughs> uh, thank you for appreciating my efforts. Efforts. I was just... Oh, no. Efforts? Oh, my gosh. These are just coming to me. Are you high? <laughs> on ca- are you sure on caffeine yes 1000 oh, percent. okay okay i'm gonna crash hard after this i'm calling it right now <laughs> are you gonna make a home okay buddy i think so <laughs> i'll give you a text when i get home just just to be- just, just, just call up sam sam i need you to talk to me <laughs> all the way home i can't do this ah! i'm just gonna roll the windows down blast the music blast ac ah! that's the best way i'm gonna stay up <laughs> Nikki's rolling down Alpine. We're the kids in America. <laughs> We're the kids in America. Sing, what was that song again from this? I can't remember that stupid song. I don't remember. Oh, the tragedy. It's a tragedy. Well, a fragedy. A fragedy. <laughs> We're broken. We can't be bro- I'm broken. We can't do this. It's late at night. It's not even that late. It's <laughs> ten. We can't. We can't do that. We can't do this. We can't do this after we've done anything productive. All the productivity has to go into the it's podcast. It's gone. It's gone. It's out the window. Anyway, does anybody else have anything to say about Shrek for our? Um, it's a little thing, but Craig Robinson plays Cookie, one of the ogre, the old duck duck hook. Oh, and his yeah, little and his little is. and when they're putting the little figures down to like for their plan to ambush, it is like what's that? Oh, that's my was it Chibichanga? <laughs> oh, it was like a cart for food like in that. case we get hungry. And I'm laugh- I laughed really hard the second time. <laughs> I don't know why it's 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 like a lazy little joke. I, my laughter. I was not <laughs> expecting. It's Craig. like that's in case it's in case we get hungry. And go. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. For that works. Time. That's all we need is Chibichangas. I think it was chimichanga. It was something like that. Just it was like, like chimichangas or donuts or like. It was like a churro, wasn't it? Was it, tr- was it churro? It was, I feel like I, it was I don't a stick remember. of some kind. Yeah. I mean, chimichangas are kind of stick shaped. I have no idea. It's like a stick of meat wrapped in flour. With and deep fried, right? Deep that. fried, yeah. Deadpool loves gotcha. them. That made me remember the. Because of just that scene, the ambush scene. That the using the Pied Piper where he has like all the different settings. The that was actually Piper, really fun. Dude, I thought that was pretty fun. The pie, everything with the Pied Piper for me cracked me up. Like with he all just dancing. Bro- like all the dancing. <laughs> oh my god! Such an easy like it's it's like it just wrote itself. Like as soon as you introduce the Pied Piper, I'm like all right, guys, I got all the gags. Let's just go for it with all the dancing and the entrancing. <laughs> Oh man, I he's another that. one. That's the thing. Him and Rumpelstilts can make appearances in the previous movies, but in different forms. Because the Piper is in the first movie at, in Shrek Swamp when he, fr- you know, the what are you doing in my swamp? He what? he's out there. Yep. Wait, he is. Really? He's, yep. Huh. He's playing. And all the rats are piling over to him. Oh yeah. And then Rumpelstiltskin is in the third movie. Looks completely like different. That's actually, I, I did actually have it's a new flumpy pigskin, rebel stilt skin. <laughs> flumpy pigskin. That's at the, at the as at the bar in the first act when Charming is is rallying all the all the villains. Ha! Huh. So yeah, they're both they both make appearances, and this is clearly like yeah. This, See, look, there is a reason. Re- not pick up on that. There That's- is a reason to go back and watch Shrek the Third. There you go. For that one, that fl- 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 flumpy pigskin. I flumpy love that pig flumpy, lumpy pig skin. Flumpy, flump, Rump- it's like flumpy pig skin. Rumpy Rump- Rump- skin. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at that. Building their universe. The Shrekiverse. It's glorious. I can't wait to see what the fifth one's oh. going to bring. I really can't. Come on. I'm just so it's, tired. <laughs> it's it, it's, it's, it's going to be something, man. It's just going to be... It's going to be a thing. What, is, what was Shrek 5? Is it 23? 2023? <sighs> so I think... They're not Wait, in production. This year was yet. this year is Spirit, the second Spirit, the second Boss Baby. Next year is the second Puss in Boots, and there's an original movie, yeah, or at least just not a non sequel. And then I think the fifth Shrek movie is the first or second slated 2023 release. That makes so sense. So we're that, that we're getting like... close oh, to another man. Shrek movie. Aren't you excited, Jake? 
I'm just so tired. Wow, man. Just wait for the, it the to look hit of big. pure joy. It's gonna make a billion dollars <laughs> worldwide. The the memes are gonna explode even more than they already have. I, I can't. And everyone's wait. gonna be quoting it nonstop. And now you you get to just live through. You, you just, I mean, I work from home, so I basically don't leave my house. But you're gonna it's live gonna through a okay. second Shrekessance. It's like it's how gonna. About, how about any any family get togethers? You know, like family reunions. If you have, if anyone is under the age of like like twelve. They're going to be quoting it nonstop. Maybe I set the Again, age too low. But that's if it's I'm good. I'm just saying. You realize this is if it's I'm just, good. I'm just saying like kids latch on to stuff like this when they find it funny and quotable. So just get ready for a whole new generation of kids to just quote it nonstop. Oh, it, on top of the Shrek fans that already dude, quote are, all the movies are you gonna realize, the first so wait, two nonstop. This, oh no. Gen Z is going to be probably a little bit too old. No. I don't think Gen Z would be too old to like hook onto this. Could you, could you imagine? No, any, or everyone will hook onto this. I'm just saying, like, like get ready saying, for a whole new generation. Could you imagine, like, when we're in our senior years, we're yeah, all just yeah, yeah. shrekking like, it up? Like, oh my god, it's gonna. What did you, what did you think of Shrek 20 show, Nikki? That works. That works. They shut it into space. Oh, there's a D. It's gonna rain. Let's go inside and watch the other 20 some Shrek movies. We're going to do our Shrek a thon. It's going to take us a whole. Let's put in a Blu ray. What's a Blu ray? You call your great grandson over. Put this disc in the player. Fergus, get over here. Fergus! Sister Fergus! I got to tell you a story. Fergus and Fergal! Grab the Fergus! Grab the Let's, let's, let's make a patch right now. We're naming our kids after the Shrek names. Farkle, Fergus, and Foonies. I'm apologizing to my kids in the future, but you're going to be named Fergus and Farkle. And if you have a four kid, four, it's just Donkey. <laughs> You just walk around calling him Donk. Hey, Donk. <laughs> hey, Donk. <laughs> wait, wait. Donk. I mean, his name was going to be Donkey Dicky. Oh, man, that's asinine. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, God. Oh, it hurts. <coughs> Everybody watching and or listening, we do apologize for this. Maybe. I got water. I'm good. I swear, this episode was going to be about Shrek 4. It is about Shrek 4. Yeah. Shrek 4 ever after. Rated PG. We came to the Forever Forever after. Because Shrek is going to go on forever. As after. will the names of our grandchildren, apparently. <laughs> For- Fergus, Farco, Felice, and Donkey. <laughs> I call dibs on Gigi for the fifth kid. <laughs> Sixth kid is, is, is Mongo. <laughs> I'm bringing promise on me and one of my kids. <laughs> what if your name is, if, if your parents name you Farkle? <laughs> How do you go by like Fark? How how do, who names your kid Fark? Or or do you just go by Cole? Wow, that was dud. That was a dud. If you were trying to be funny, yeah, but actually, I mean, they probably could get you probably Cole just, or Fark. You probably just as soon as you were eighteen, go down to St- City Hall and change your name. That is very. I mean, true. that's probably what you do. That is very accurate. But Fergus, who you go by then, Gus. Oh yeah! Oh, Fergus, you definitely. We're just fur, fur, Fergie. Fergie. <gasps> Guys, what a Fergie's real name is Fergus or Fergus Licious. Oh, I was waiting for that. <laughs> it had to happen. Oh, it had to. It's like D- food poisoning. To the L I C O U S F to the E to the R G U S. That's not how you spell it, but okay. It's close. I can deal. I can deal. Close enough. I tried. I can't really spell that great. Especially not when you're high on caffeine. Shrek forever after. <laughs> is there anyone? Is there anyone I, I got. Else I got nothing. Can... I got nothing are else. We, it's just. Are we? I, I think. Burns out on Shrek at this point. Um, oh, we I have one more movie to go. 
<laughs> Not yet. Right. But we're getting there. Oh, Puss just, in Boots. Yeah. yeah, it's a spin. It's part of the universe. It's a spinoff. It the Shrekverse. Thank you. Shrek, Shrek. Call it that. Shrek, Shrek, Shrek. Shrek. The Shrekverse. Thank you. Okay. All I was going to say is kind of a little closing thing was <clears throat> this one tends to be lumped in with like the, the same level of quality as the third one by people because they just don't remember it. And I think that's unfair because I think this is much better. It's nowhere I near the first two. Incredibly agree. But with it's you. a good, it's a nice, good little ending. It, it doesn't deserve it, it's, it's, it's the, more, hate the third one gets. It's more subversive for a Shrek movie. Comp- more subversive in the sense of from a Shrek movie, not a movie, because the other Shrek movies were already subversive. So I think yep. it's a nice semi return to form I th- and a I, good ending. I think you nailed it. I, I, th- I, think, I this... think it's much better than that third one. I do agree entirely. So do we have any closing thoughts before we're just going to go crazy oh, if we don't wrap this I, up? I think we got to stop this while we're, yeah, just we just cut it off. Who would have ever thought that we turned the Shrek episode, or Shrek 4 episode into the B-movie episode? Yeah, well, if you think about it, the, the, the Shrek the third, we, we sounded like we were at a wake. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty depressing. Like we just kind of just, oh, well, it's we, just we needed a little bad. more life. We needed a little more oh, I just started. I didn't like this. I didn't like that. And then this one, it's like, hey. It's Shrek. It got us a little more juice in our jeans. I really, really am feeling it. I don't juice know. in our jeans. I, I, I just came up with that on the spot. I what mean, do you, think? you got a litter, the alliter, points for alliteration. You sure Thank that's you. water? Let me smell it. Let me smell it. It's clear. You can smell it. Yeah, other things no, are clear. Yeah, I'll give you that. It smells like a pool. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of chlorine. This is from oh, water God, That here. explains it. That's why you keep drinking it. You're dehydrated. <laughs> Now I need it. Hydrate or dehydrate, kids. Or, actually, if we're not going to hydrate, you have to eat pancakes. Yes. Obviously. That's the only way to go. If you're not drinking water, you got to drink maple syrup. Just chug it. We're not Canadian. Why not? Canadians have a good time. I mean, I can't make myself Canadian. But you can I mean, make get... yourself pancakes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Make yourself pancakes, kids, not war. Flippity floppity. Glub glub. Bippity glub, glub. Buzz buzz. Alrighty. Well, I think okay. that's yeah, it. Yeah, um, yeah. Please follow yeah. us. Yeet. Oh, you that almost made cool. it. He almost got that in Dickie's water bottle. Yeet. But yeah, I was going to say, give yeah. us a follow. Yeet. Go ahead and subscribe oh. to us. We're making good stuff everywhere on all the socials. What are the socials? Oh, you yeah. know, good. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good jazz. Where else can you listen to us? Oh, yes. Listen to us everywhere. Spotify, Apple, Google, Stitcher, Amazon. Stitcher. iHeartRadio, if Heart anyone Radio. still uses that. If anybody uses it. Any podcasting, anywhere. Look us up. You'll find us at All Slate Media. Always putting out fun. We're a bunch of goofy goofs. Putting out good content, right? Or oh, yeah. Because we made you some content. I'll allow him to sing Daddy this one. Come on. We made you some content open wide. Thank Ooh. you, Bo Burnham, for sponsoring the ah. end of Ooh. this episode. Want a piece of pie? <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that concludes. <laughs> Yet another episode of That Works, a DreamWorks podcast, Shrek Forever After. Our next episode is one of my favorites. It used to be my all-time favorite. We'll get into that. This is top tier. It's just, it's Megamind, the the third of three DreamWorks movies from 2010. I wish it did a lot a lot better when it, it came out. It, it has more, more of a following now. We'll get into it next time. Yes, we will. Thank you for sticking with us through this very, very odd Chaotic. episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye. Very wide. What would I have kind of a punchy voice? It's not ear piercing, but there's like a no. Dickie's is ear piercing. You know what I'm He's trying to say? He's high, middle, low. There you go. That's what it is. So what did you say, Mike? It's like this nasally little, little punch on you. Oh. 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 <laughs> Everyone some good ASMR? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, and welcome to That Works! It works. I told you. That works! Oh, no! No! <laughs> <laughs> I heard an 
echo when it hit. Pomegranates. Holy. What was that? That was a. <laughs> <laughs>